I love the opportunity to work and get to know people in this industry. And I think you guys are doing some, I mean, I think your box is going to be great. I mean, well, thank you. Hey, we're excited about it. Two months in. So this is the second month. Yeah. Well, think, we're very happy to be part of the box. I mean, especially in May, it's Skin Cancer Awareness Month. I mean, there's no better time to be in a box like yours than the May box where ho hopefully people are realizing that it's Skin Cancer Awareness Month. So how did you get into all of this? Well, honestly, it was because of my mom and her dealing with skin cancer and me starting to learn about it. I started working with so many dermatologists and reading about it, learning about it. And then when we started look, talking about a sunscreen, you know, when my mom, after seeing what went through my mom, and starting, and I started reading about skin cancer a lot, and I started reading about sunscreen a lot, and then I was lucky enough to find a company that was very hands-on and explaining their process with me, and let me understand the difference between the ingredients and help me understand that. And working with that, working with that company, you know, I really got a, got a very good education on what different ingredients you could use, what. You know, I mean, I had, you know, people who do this for a living guiding me. Yeah. And they so were very... self-taught. Yeah. I mean, 100%. it was... Yeah. It was just learning what works, what doesn't, what's good for the environment, what's not, what's, what can give you allergic reactions, what's easier for the skin, what's less, less, less aggressive in terms of fragrances and scents. I don't like talking bad about specific products, but aerosol... You've seen people who jump in a pool or the water after spraying that aerosol, yeah. and it looks like an oil slick. Yeah. Not only that, but you, when you're spraying it, on, you're inhaling that stuff, mm -hmm. and it's horrible for you in your respiratory system, and so many people are allergic to the stuff that's in it. I mean, you get people that have severe allergic reactions internally. From an aerosol stuff, can. And not only that, but topical mm -hmm. allergies with that, and reelers is completely natural. It's eco -friend. You can rub it in your eyes. Oh, right? literally. Watch. I mean, people always freak out when I do this, but I mean, I will, no, I will literally <laughs> cake it right in my eyes. And there's no issue with it. Yeah. Literally, all you're doing with that is like that much will protect all of your skin. If you see white on your face or on your body after putting it on, you've put on too much. We recommend reapplying, you know, at least once in a day. So if you put it on before you hit the ramp in the morning, and then, you know, at lunch or take a break. But a physical sunscreen like this actually has particles, the zinc dioxide and titanium dioxide. It's a physical sunscreen, so it actually reflects UVA and UVB off the surface of your skin. Whereas other sunscreens are chemical based, they absorb into your skin and start breaking down the UV rays as they penetrate the skin. Whereas this, it's like having millions of little mirrors that reflect it right off the wow. surface so it doesn't break down as quick. It lasts longer and gives you protection as long as it's on your skin. If you've got any tattoos, <laughs> which I am completely sleeved and my back is completely covered, it won't allow the sun to penetrate to break down your tattoo ink in your skin. Really? Because the UVA and UVB rays, when it penetrates the skin, it fades your ink. I would love to get big enough in this industry that I could get MLF and BASS to bring on skin cancer awareness classes, just like the NFL makes rookies do concussion classes. Mm -hmm. We should be educating those anglers about the differences in sunscreen, what sun protection actually means, and what they should be doing, because that will just protect their anglers, which are their biggest assets. There are so many tournament anglers that have, if you've competed in tournaments, even weekend warrior for five or 10 years without wearing sunscreen, the chances of you having skin cancer are astronomical. Oh yeah. It's the, it's the most common form of cancer and the most preventable. Everybody, outdoor enthusiasts, I don't care if you're a hunter, if you're a fisherman, if you, uh, you know, if you're a wakeboarder, if you're a you know, water skier, rider, dark, whatever, whatever yeah. gardener, you should be, you should be staying protected in the sun and reelers will do it. And it doesn't take very friendly. long. No. <laughs> 10 seconds to protect your face is so easy. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, uh, you know, it's still not sticky. No, I've been sitting I mean, here for. And look, I'm not. I'm Twenty not, minutes, thirty. I'm minutes, in the direct sun, and I should be sweating. It floats. I don't know if. Uh, yeah, hang on. I'm going to try it out. Here, I mean, you can <laughs> toss it in there. <laughs> I mean, it, it actually floats. I mean, if you drop it off the deck of the boat, it's not going to sink. It might go under the boat, but. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, 
If you try okay. that trick, make sure you bring a dip net. <laughs> <laughs> well, with what when you hear that snap, yeah, that's how you know it's sealed tight. So what about what about shirts like this? You well, know, I mean, you, like know, you know, a sun I, shirt. I, this is where everybody's going, right? They're good, but in hot weather, they're horrible, and you know fabrics even with uv protection all that is with uv protection it's a spray that they put on the fabric and after you wash them a couple times you can still get uvb rays that penetrate that fabric and nobody wants to be in a hundred degree day with a face mat a face shield up or a neck gator oh, up and no it's not, miserable and not when you can use this I'm i think my favorite things about your sunscreen uh at least in my home we are all natural. I mean, borderline, I don't know, hippies. Like everything is like, <laughs> everything is like no chemicals right. whatsoever. Even my grandson, who's three months old, we don't have a problem if he wants to sit out in this yard. He might have sun hat, but you know, I can put this on him without having to worry about his skin breaking out or him ingesting something that's not good or breathing in vapors mm -hmm. or spray, you know, and it feels good to have a product that, you know, you can tell people about that if they are they have chosen to go a more natural route with their lifestyle for their kids and their family you've got a product that fits right in there with it you've got you a know? product that's making a difference yeah and I, I think that's really cool that's saying i keep going back to our box and i'm not obviously i would love for everyone to buy my box but uh that's what we're doing with the the tackle world as well mm -hmm. is it's it's so inundated with factory stuff that's just mass produced in the factory and just it's all about money, it's all about price, it's all about this. And there's a place for that. I use this stuff too, I'm oh, not gonna lie. With that. But we are trying to make a difference with quality. Right. Bringing the quality out, the stuff that's made with care. Well, and it's not just that, you know, you could, there's some, people don't get a chance to really get to know these small time lure guys that have found something that just really worked. Oh yeah. Especially for their specific area mm -hmm. or their specific lake or you know they, they're so in tune with the patterns of that whatever they're fishing that when they create something like that you can hammer with one oh, of those lures. It's unbelievable. I will be completely honest from 2000 to about 2014 I didn't throw a lure. I didn't do anything in terms of fishing or being out there. You know, I was focused on dermatology and I was old medical and and I got a call from a fisherman like three weeks before I cast in 2014. And I brought my other products there and the second day of I cast, Roland Martin, Jimmy Houston and Bill Dance were sitting in my booth waiting for me. And Whoa. I thought I thought they were there to tell me to leave. Like I did something yeah. wrong. I had never been to an outdoor show or anything. <laughs> well, Roland's wife had got a sample of my lip balm and she woke up that next day and was like, you guys have got to go try this stuff out. <laughs> and ever since then, yeah. I have just, I have just, I couldn't imagine being in any other industry. I absolutely love working with anglers. I love seeing how high school and collegiate is really growing. Mm -hmm. It's an industry where I don't care what I'm doing. I can bring my family with it. Such an awesome product. Um, it, it's a, everybody says it is so cliche, but I'm going to say it, it's a game changer. <laughs> and I, uh, I appreciate you coming out, talking with us, showing hey, us. Thank you for having me I, out. I enjoyed and it. I appreciate you giving us the opportunity to be in your box. I think hey. people need to check out Salt Creek Tackle for sure. We're proud to have you in there.